is a totally different day, I swear. Uh, today we are going to Walmart. We're looking for creepover party and good sales. What's up? Oh, oh, for 60? I paid 120 for this. I've never seen this in person. <laughs> Let's go. Let's look for creepover. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, this is where I found Tiara. Sorry, we we don't know what Walmart's which in this area because there's so many. <sighs> they definitely have more Monster High. Where is it? Like they have to. It would be ridiculous if they only had the six packs. Um, but it seems like they're like rearranging. Um, don't worry, we're gonna find them. Really great section though. It's beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is the store that we found all those ten dollar ones at last time. Remember that? Yeah, I do. Oh, the giant stack with the... Yeah, that we was, had to put it in a chair. That was amazing, yeah. Um, that means clearance is over there, which I think, yeah, I think this is that location. Where's the costume ball so much? Oh! Costume ball. There. Come on. That's the salon, which I've never actually seen at a Walmart. Um, but where's Monster High? Don't worry, I'll, I'll let you guys know if we find one. So I'm using the Walmart app to scan stuff, uh, which is my new strategy. This is 50 here, so I'm probably gonna get this because I don't wanna miss out on that set because I really wanna keep them in box. $18, $10. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep checking if I see more series three, especially. Um, Delilah, I didn't check Delilah yet. I'm very curious about her. Because if she's $10, that would be amazing. I really want her. <laughs> um, I don't think Lila was $10 last time, but I'll check her this time. Um, and I'll let you guys know what I find. It's pretty exciting. I love this. Um, and Brett's in the clearance section right now, I think, checking that out. <sighs> and I can't find any more Monster High. Also, I can't get the six pack to scan, so I don't know if it's actually $60 or if it's just in the wrong location. Or like they haven't updated this, but it doesn't show up in the app. It's weird. It just shows the $200 resale price. There he is. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So right now I'm investigating these. Oh, they have the Barbie Extra pack that has the exclusive girl that I actually really want. And it's really cheap here. I think it's 40, which is really good. But the one that I want, the only one that I want from that set has a really messed up face. So I'm like, whatever. Um, so now I just have to pick one of these. Um, I just have to pick one where the face paint's overall good and the hair is like pretty well placed because I'm gonna be in a box. So um, the problem is like all of them at hair are placed because of course you're gonna unbox it, but I'm not. <laughs> so it's kind of irritating. None of them. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick the one that looks the best, unless there's more. I'm gonna keep looking, I might be able to find more. Uh, yeah, that's where we are right now, it's cute actually. Target, this is the two story one, it almost never has anything, but we accidentally came here, so we'll go. Yay! So it looks like, potentially, no, that's Lyric and Vanessa, Ooh, they were just in the wrong spot. Um, this is 70 here, which it is on the app too, so I can get it whenever. And then over here, can see the rest of the Black Friday sales, but, they're obviously not as good as they are in the app, but it's good to check the stores because sometimes they have things that aren't on sale in the app. Delilah, who I might actually get because she's on sale here, um, or sorry, they have her here. They didn't have her at my store. Um, and I want to get some extras because mine is currently wearing a restyle that I'm never taking her out of. So um, I don't have one for display. <laughs> um, yeah, this is what we're looking at. Basically the same as my other store, but some dolls that they didn't have and some dolls that they did. So yeah. What is Tea Turtle Reversible plushies? Those look cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna double check Delilah's price on the app and potentially get her. Y'all, I messed up. So I thought this was a whole row of them, but there's only one. So actually, there's only one and this one has pretty misprinted lips. They're not terrible, terrible, but um, if I'm buying a double, she needs to be like a good one. So, Ugh, too bad, but that's okay. I'm gonna check the Mila's or Mila's though, so. Um, also look around because sometimes there's end caps that have more on them. But yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> this is a store called Bargain Hunt and it was really cool. We don't normally stop here actually. And this one was in the location that we normally like to go through, like hunting in. So it was pretty cool. Um, none of the deals were particularly amazing. Although the Cheer Violets, which you can see on the right there. Oh, I forgot they had Avery. Yeah, she was 30 though, which really after two years. <laughs> but Violet was 10. And it says compare at 17, I think, which was not her retail price. It was like 22. So she's over half off. So I did end up getting a cheer violet, but uh, they didn't really have, I mean, they had a ton of stuff. This would be very exciting if I didn't already have most of the dolls that I'm, you know, looking for, but 
pretty cool. I'm just mainly, with uh, discount stores like this, I'm mainly looking for Rainbow High because I specifically collect doubles of Rainbow High. Uh, but with LOL Surprise, I loved that too. With LOL Surprise, I'm actually missing quite a few, so I can get pretty lucky with them like I did at Ross the other day. But anyway, shopping. I just saw a child walk by me with a Rainbow High shirt on. Um, it was beautiful. I have no idea where it came from. Um, but yeah, we're at Target. Guess what? You'll never guess. We're at Target again. Looking for dolls? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. Well, no Delilah's here. Ooh. Want some extra Delilah's, but everybody knows she's superior. It's that series one fashion. Cool. Nothing on sale here that wasn't on sale anywhere else that I'm seeing, but I'll look closer off camera. Um, and I have to find some end caps. Oh, there's some. The mini Bratz advent calendar. I want this. Why is it $60? Are you kidding me? I want this, but it only comes with one that I don't have, and it's the Holiday Trinity. And they were diabolical for that. They're like punishing us for getting it ahead of time. I've never seen this though. That's cool. This is just so similar to the other store I was at earlier. I saw this from a mile away. This is mine now. Oh, that's what went in it. $20? Yeah, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> mm. Alright, so they have Harper for 17. Anything under 15 I'll do, but like, I can wait. Um, there's more up here. They are 40. I found this. This is what I'm getting. <laughs> um, Spirit Queen is 19. Um, oh, I really want this, but her face is really messed up, so. I mean, is it? I don't know, but 13 is like really good, but... Eh. And then they have a bunch of Cricut vinyl, which is good for me, but nobody else cares, I'm sure. Um, 35 for her isn't bad. How much are you? Are you a good deal? You would never go on clearance. You'd sell out full price. Um, oh, and then these are over here, but this is just Christmas overflow. This isn't um, clearance, but yeah. I kind of want this set, but like, I don't really collect OMG stuff in box, so eh. I'm really hyped about this set because I've never even seen it posted about before. It's pretty cool. Um, and then this display is amazing. I'll show you guys when we get home. Um, but didn't find any, I mean, I did find some dolls on sale that were pretty good prices, but I'm okay. But I'm so hyped about this, it's beautiful. So expect a video of this. So I hope you enjoyed that doll hunt. So behind me are the things that I found in that doll hunt. And then as an added bonus, I ordered some stuff um, on Wednesday from the Black Friday sale on walmart.com and somehow it already showed up. I'm actually shocked because today is Black Friday. So they, they, they're they like trying to get these out, out of the warehouse, which is very nice for me. So anyway, first I'm going to show you guys the things that you guys actually saw me buy in the doll hunt. And then I will show you the stuff that I bought from walmart.com. And then I actually have an Amazon haul, a Kohl's haul, and a Target haul from Black Friday. And none of this includes possible Cyber Monday sales. So, oh, and a Disney store. I have been gearing up for Black Friday for a while now um, because I knew there were going to be some great sales. So anyway, one of my goals with my Rainbow High doll collection is I don't necessarily think that I'm going to have every single doll in box. I just don't think that's sustainable. I don't have the space for it. I don't have the money for it. But I would like to have every single multi-pack in box. So the different doll sets that came with, they're just basically like special packaging versions of other dolls that already released. So um, that was one of my goals for Black Friday this year was to get those. And I actually managed to get three of the sets that I was missing, which I'm super excited about. So for example, such a weird set, but I found this at Target. It was $70, but then if I had just waited, it was $60 on the website like the next day, but it's okay. Um, so this is such a strange set. So we have some Series 3 girls and some Shadow High Series 1 dolls. I think they just honestly had extras of these in the warehouse. I have no idea. But we've got Emmy, Daria, Natasha, and Heather. And honestly, it was probably better to get, for $10 extra, to be able to get, like, the perfect set because I picked out the ones with the best faces. Uh, somehow I didn't notice that we have a few scratches on the front of the packaging, but, like, it's fine. I'm not that picky with inbox stuff. Um, but I love this specifically. And then on the back, too. Oops. <laughs> I love this. I call these the billboards, especially when it's a big package. Like, how gorgeous is this? I really like this set. Um, it's just so random. And it retails for, like, I think $120, which is a 
I mean, these dolls each retailed for 30 at most. So that's the retail cost without the second outfits. And I don't think this comes with stands either. Bizarre choice. So if you can get it for 70 though, like, or 60 even would have been a lot nicer than $15 each for the dolls without their second outfits feels decently fair to me. But like, I don't know. That's just kind of weird. I think they're just like, let's see if we can get 120. That would be great. But I assume the price was really because it was going to be a Black Friday item because it came out around that time. That's my assumption. Um, I know it came out like a month and a half ago probably, but they probably intended to have it sitting on the shelves, get people interested in it, and then put it on a sale. Sometimes they do stuff like that. I don't know. Um, all right. So next, this was so cool. I'm thinking this is going to be the thumbnail because I got a really cool picture in the store when I found this. This was $60. Now, if you guys remember, I do already have this set, but I could not leave it behind for $60. $10 a doll. I was like, yeah, I need this. Um, this is so cool. So I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this in box or if I'm going to unbox this and restyle these dolls. We'll just have to see. I do have some Monster High dolls in box. I don't have a whole lot. My Ever After High and Rainbow High collections are the ones that I'm actively collecting them in box, but the other collections, like, if I get one in box, I'll keep them, but otherwise it's not that big of a deal to me. But I love this pack. I really like these dolls. They have such unique looks to them, especially Frankie. And of course, there's a Torlai in here. Duh had, you know, and for 60, I, I legit was like, I, I probably include this in the video, but I saw the $60 sign. I was like, no way. So I pulled out the Walmart app to scan it on my phone and it said price not found. And I was like, uh, so I went up to the employees and I was like, could you check this price for me? And they scanned it at 60. And I was like, wow, I bought this for 120 a couple months ago. And they were like, well, you should bring it back and like exchange it. And I was like, oh no, it was too long ago. Like, I don't think it'll do that, but I'm going to be getting this. Thank you so much. Like, and they were impressed by the price too. I was like, this, this is for me. This is mine now. And I really like the back. Although it is just pictures of the dolls, I really wish it was artwork. It would make it would make it like more exciting to keep them in the packaging because there is artwork. Maybe they didn't do it for every character. I don't know. But this is a very cute set. And I hope you guys can get it for this price too. It seems like it didn't make stores in time most of the time. I only saw this set at one store and it was the store that I found it for 60 at. So... That was an exciting find. It's multi-pack day. I don't know. Um, I just, I really like keeping multi-packs in box. I think it's really exciting and I didn't do it before. I actually kept the packaging for every multi-pack that I've ever bought though. Almost every single one. So I still have my School Shores five packs box. Like, why do I have that? I don't know. My Good vs. Evil uh, Winx Club doll set. Yeah, I have that box still. From 10 years ago. It has been a decade at this point since I got those sets and I still have the boxes. Uh, so clearly I really like them. So now I'm like, if I can find multi-packs on sale, because often multi-packs go on great sales. Gosh, I remember with that Skull Shores pack, I think I got it for like 30 bucks. It was really cool. I mean, I was what, like 13? My mom bought it for me. Thank you, mom. <laughs> Thank you. In yeah. Anyway, uh, this set was one that I was really, really wanting to get, but it was, for some reason, 70 just felt like too much for me. And then I found it on sale for 50 so this set drives me crazy though because why doesn't it come with poppy like leave out skylar or ruby because they're not my favorites in this line i think everybody's pretty strong except skylar and ruby in this lineup i don't know but <laughs> poppy was one of the strongest ones i don't know why they left her out maybe she was i would think violet's the best seller though i have no idea but this set is very cute regardless and you do get all of them in the uh artwork on the back the billboard if you will and it's just so cute i really really like this i can't wait to figure out how i'm gonna display all these multi-packs so now i'm only missing two multi-packs technically like one because one's just a variant of a multi-pack that i now already have uh this is the one at sam's club and i've seen it in person before i just didn't buy it because it was ludicrously expensive so hopefully they still have it because i need to just bite the bullet and get it before it disappears off the face of the planet like the set that i'm missing the other set that i'm missing all right uh, so one of you guys tipped me off to try out a store called Bargain Hunt, which I had gone to when I first moved here. I went to one and I found a crystal doll. I found a fantasy friend doll and I was like, this is neat, but I never went back because it was kind of out of the way. And then we stopped at one, but it actually ended up being a different one. And they just had a million cheer violets. I don't think it was a million. I just think it was like 10, maybe, maybe less. I don't remember. Uh, this was $10, which is a pretty good deal for a rainbow high doll, whether I unbox or not. I want to leave this in box, but I just noticed this. I think this happened after it came into my home, though. That sucks, because I needed a cheer violet in box. Uh, the box is in pretty good shape. There's some scratches, so I don't know. If I go back to that store and they still have her, I will buy... There's, like, a glue spot there. I'll buy another one. $10, why not? But if not, uh, I'll just I'll just live with this one. Yeah. 
I have the cheer display, so I'd like to have all the cheer dolls in box. Although, I don't think I ever showed them on camera, to be honest, but I do have the cheer two packs all in box, which I'm very proud of. I almost missed out on those because I never once saw them in stores, but then they were at a uh, dirt cheap store. Just all of them were sitting there in Montgomery. I just happened to be in Montgomery, and I was like, mine. <laughs> and then uh, this was the one Series 4 doll I got that day. I was good, but I wasn't good in this case. So I, I think anyway they're in here. I either got them... Did Walmart have them on sale? I think I got them on Amazon and Target, actually. There might not be Series 4 in here. But I got this jewel because I think the other one that I bought has a completely shredded box. Or I can unbox this one. So uh, in my dream world, it's not going to happen. But I'll have doubles in box and doubles out of box. <laughs> It won't happen, but wouldn't it be so, like, grand? So if I can get a doll, because these were $13, and I price matched for this one at Target. Uh, if I can get a doll for $13, a doll that retails for, like, $30, sold, sold. So my dream of having doubles can only come true in this particular circumstance. I actually was really weird when Series 4 came out. Normally I'm quite frugal, but when Series 4 came out, all bets were off. I bought, like three of Leela. I bought two Myla, or Mila's. I, like, I was unstoppable. I love Series 4 so much. This is probably, I don't know how they're going to top this. I don't think they're going to, to be honest. I love Series 4, so having them all in box is cool to me, and I now do have them all in box, as long as all the ones that I ordered online actually show up to my home, and they show up in good condition. <laughs> and then I got some vinyl for my Cricut machine, just because it was on sale, and I was like, oh, cool, because it's like, Pretty Mermaid vinyl. I've never used this vinyl before, but I might find a use for it. And then this vinyl I use all the time. Or I used to. Uh, just stocking up there. Five bucks each. Good deal. Uh, this I did not know existed. I think this was a Black Friday item. Hopefully they put them out at y'all's stores at all. This was $20. Now I know this is just basically the same as any other art set you get. They just spread it out more. I made the box huge. But I love this. I'm kind of wishing that I had bought multiple now because I'm going to be unboxing this for a video. But I kind of love it. It's huge. And look at the back, by the way. <laughs> it's so exciting. But the thing that makes me not too bothered, so what is this called? The Super Sketch and Create. This is just a really cool set. This is like the big Christmas set this year because they have a Shadow High one, but this is like the Rainbow High one, I guess. And this was at Walmart, again, $20. It seemed like they were putting it out for Black Friday, like it had its own little end cap, but they had just put it out. And because they were just then pointing it out, this happened to be there. I, I spotted this from across the store. I wish I'd been filming. Me and Brett were walking down the aisle and I was like, store display, store display, store display. And he was like, where? What? And I was like, it's Rainbow High store display. I see it. And I ran up to it and it was this. And I was like, I don't know what this goes to, but I grabbed it because it was showing like one of the sides, I think. Look at this. This isn't like the super impressive type of store display in my, there's like tiers of store displays. So there's like posters uh, or wait, wait, okay. There's Things like this, which are like the box something comes in, these are really easy to get. They'll let you take this no matter what. Uh, as long as you buy all the product or if they're actively throwing it away, they don't care if you take this. Then there's like posters, things that are on the wall, things that are on the windows and stuff. And then there's like the big cardboard 3D displays. Those are the hardest ones to get. Uh, so this is, you know, easy tier for me. But this is a, something that might not even hit every store and they're probably throwing this away at most stores. So I was very lucky to be able to grab this when I did. And I really like this. I'm probably not going to display this as a traditional store display. I'm probably just going to like like store things inside of it uh but have like the storage on display so things that I want to display but also store you'll see I'll figure it out but I just loved this I specifically really like the back so cool series one someday they're not going to use this art anymore there's going to be like a series one 2.0 so all this like merch will be exciting more exciting than it already is I just love it I love the stupid cardboard things and I'm not going to miss out on them anymore <laughs> I missed out on so many back when like Monster High and all these other doll brands were out. It's not happening again. I will do everything in my power to get these store displays. Okay. Next. This I already opened because I was just curious because the box came from Walmart and it was a really big box and I was like, it's too, and it was marked like Rainbow High six pack, right? So I was like, why would it be this big? Because it was like wide. So it was specifically for that, like the shipper box for it. I assume maybe they shipped two inside and Walmart just took one out. But anyway, I finally got the six pack. This is the first outfit six pack. Six pack. So these are the outfits that the Series 1 dolls originally were packaged in. There's actually, I believe it's Target exclusive. There's another version of this that I... There is a picture of me on Instagram holding it in my hands. And it was like my birthday and I didn't buy it. It was uh, 2021, my birthday. It haunts me 
haunts me. I never saw that set again. I mean, I might have seen it a couple more times, but um, it disappeared fast and it never came up for sale. Even this Walmart set, I never once saw the Walmart set in person. So it's been bothering me for a year, over a year now that I have not been able to get this set because it was a Black Friday item for last year too, I believe. I didn't see it. I went to so many stores. I was so frustrated. I would ask the employees and they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. But it's finally mine. I got this for $60, so $10 a doll. Like I said, if I can get something for under $15 and it's Rainbow High doll, I will buy it in a heartbeat, no questions asked. Um, so I'm so... Ooh. What happened here? No. Why are you like this? Okay. False alarm. I don't know why that happened. Anyway, I'm so grateful to have this set. If I never get the other one, I'll just be so grateful that I have this one. Although the other one is kind of more interesting to me because they're in different outfits. It's really cool. Uh, hopefully someday. I do see it on the Walmart website for 110 or 120 whatever it is, but... It's a little high like come on <laughs> i i might i might after a while i might we'll see um but isn't this just i wanted this so bad and i finally have it and i ordered this online the reason i didn't order it online last year because i do think it went on sale last year it was because manufacturing defects rainbow high is notorious for having bad manufacturing defects and i'm pretty picky uh with my new unbox dolls i'm not as picky though but this set came perfect there's one doll with a defect and it's violet um her i mean one big defect that i care about her eyelashes on this side are much thicker on the bottom than on this side but i don't really care that much about that like none of them have like a really big defect that's bothering me uh this jade is actually printed perfectly this poppy is not printed correctly like her eyelashes are too low on both sides but like it doesn't bother me because they're even as long as it's even i don't care <laughs> Uh, or like relatively even and then Ruby's kind of messed up too because of the eyelashes again that was the common series one problem because they they just didn't 100% like they hadn't mastered painting the faces yet as in like what to do with the face-ups but I'm just so happy about this it looks so good I've been staring at this all day it's just been sitting where me and Brett have just been sitting on the couch playing Pokemon all day um Scarlet and Violet came out so <laughs> And um, this has been just sitting across the room because I had unboxed it after it came in the mail and then I just stared at it. <laughs> and I've just been staring at it. I would look up from my game and be like, yeah, because <laughs> I'm just so, so grateful to have this. I know this is silly. Like, I have a ton of Series 1 dolls at this point. I have most of Series 1 already in box. I have a ton of doubles of every single Series 1 doll at least. Well, I have like three of each at least, I believe. I think Jade is the missing link, though. I think I only have two of her. But I have like five or six Sunnies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually think I have a lot of rubies. I think I customized them all. I don't know. I haven't inventoried my doubles collection. Anyway, none of that matters right now. What matters is that I'm so happy that I have this set. Okay, so that's all for the stuff that is currently out of the packaging. Now we get to open this. So again, this stuff was Black Friday sale on walmart.com. Uh, I've already noticed that some of this has sold out, so sorry. <laughs> but... Let's get into our Walmart package. I'm so excited. Oh, so this stuff I believe was Wednesday. So one thing in here, there was a cheaper version the next day that I did buy. So I have both. I have the more expensive one and the cheaper one, but one was from a different website. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. So first of all, this is exciting. Inside of here, we have 2022 Holiday Barbie. Brooke, you bought a holiday Barbie? Yeah, listen, I've actually been looking for this one in stores because I was just like, there's no way this is online exclusive, right? It is. Um, and I didn't want to pay like 40 or 50 bucks for this doll. I'm terrified, by the way. I should have bought multiple. This one already sold out. This was $20. Thank you to Lookin' Brats Dom for sending the link to this one in the group chat because I would have missed it because I, I searched Barbie, but I only searched Barbie Extra, Barbie Cutie Reveal, and Barbie Color Reveal, so I would have missed this. Um, oh, she's... This box... Um, but anyway, this is the one I wanted because this one has the Odette face sculpt, which is from the Flight of Fashion Barbie. I'm kicking myself for not buying that. <laughs> but this is the only playline so far that has the Odette face sculpt, and I love this face sculpt. It's beautiful. So I'm really excited about this one. I don't normally buy- oh, she's perfect, thank god. I was so worried she'd have a mess up face. So she's not staying in box because she's probably not even staying in this dress. Oh my god. She is divine. I actually really like all of the Holiday Barbies this year. They all have really beautiful faces, like all of them, and like gorgeous hair. I, I don't mind the dress either. If the other ones ever go on sale, which they will, I'll pick them up too because I actually really like them. But look at her little face. Oh, she's so pretty. Like, look at that face sculpt. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, it's kind of cool that they did five different ones this year, but like, look at them all. I really like, like all of their faces are really good. I think these, like these three, but this is cool because it's not just like the standard Millie. If it is, it just looks quite different in this picture to me. Maybe the makeup's just a lot different. She doesn't normally wear makeup anymore. I really like them all. They're just so pretty. But like the side glance kills me. She has a side glance. Had to get her. Yay. <laughs> Thank you again to Dom for sending me the link to this one. I did look this up earlier because I was going to send a link to one of my friends and be like, hey, I got this doll for 20 bucks if you're looking for her. And she was 60, so. Yeah, the resellers already snatched her up. And then this doll I bought because my other one of this doll in box, um, which was actually a PR doll that I got sent by MGA. She has like a big dent in her package, but this one's perfect. Thank goodness, because they just threw these in here. <laughs> Daria. So I really dropped the ball in series three, and I'm pretty sure I unboxed all of my Cheryl's that I had doubles of. So I'm not doing so hot with series three in box, but now I have this Daria. I'm in my Georgia, I think also has a defect on her packaging. Yeah. I, <laughs> but look at her. She's perfect. The makeup's really good. Series three, honestly, as series three is very underrated to this day. Like I think it was underrated at the time too by a lot of people. And also they did not really have manufacturing defect issues. I think some of them had hair issues, but I feel like the face paint, they really did a good job. I think she, oh, she looks so good. She looks so good. Like I feel pretty safe buying series three dolls. I don't know. But anyway, that's my new Daria. I love Daria. <laughs> this is a beautiful doll. And then I also got, this is the last thing in here. So one more thing I bought on Walmart's Black Friday that hasn't arrived yet is Melrose from LOL Surprise OMG. Mainly Rainbow High going on this year, but I did buy quite a few LOL dolls. Um, they're just from the other websites. Anyway, this is Sabrina. So funny story about this one. She showed up for $26. She was the only doll on sale out of all of Rainbow Vision. And I was like, I really like this. Sweet. Let me look at her face, by the way. Oh, it's perfect. Thank God. <laughs> so, uh, she was 26, which is a good deal in my opinion. I mean, it's like $20 off. Were these 40? Yeah, these are 40. So there's $20 off. It's pretty good. But then the next day, Amazon had her for $13 out of nowhere. So I bought two. So I'm about to have a lot of Sabrina's because again, if a doll is under 15, sold, especially one like this. So whichever one has the least interesting face or the best package, whichever one, will stay in the package. I might end up returning one. If I get one that's super messed up, I will return her uh, to Walmart to get the $26 back. But we'll see. This one's pretty dinged up, so I'll probably end up unboxing this one if this one doesn't end up being returned. Uh, or alternatively, I'll keep them all and we'll have a big ha happy family of Sabrina dolls. I would not be opposed to that. I would have four Sabrinas and I would love that. <laughs> just out of nowhere, just because she happened to be on a ridiculous sale. All right. And that's it for this video. I wanted to let you guys know to, if you're in the US especially, I don't know if other countries do this, I doubt it, it's US holiday. I mean, is it a holiday? Mass consumer shopping day. Mass consumer, um, I'm trying to think of the word that I'm looking for and I can't manipulate you into buying things day, I don't know. Uh, but it works for me works for me and I'm very happy with all of this <laughs> and I'm so excited to set all these up this is very pleasing to me I'm seriously really excited about this because I didn't even know it existed <laughs> and the new store display kind of I don't know if people classify these as store displays I personally do it's a promotional item it's not meant for people to take home but again stores do not care because the only stuff that I have is store displays from when I was a kid except the ones that my stepmom happened to bring me from her job at Kroger just like a grocery store in Texas were these because I have, I have some My Little Pony blind box, bo blind bag boxes, but they're torn to shreds because I used to carry stuff around in them. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for this video. But I urge you guys to check all these websites like Kohl's I got. And if I find like really good deals, I end up putting them on my Twitter. So plug for my Twitter account. <laughs> but check Amazon, check and keep checking for Cyber Monday too, because I'm getting a lot of Rainbow High dolls for $10 each. I am in $10 Rainbow High heaven right now. 10 to $15 each, I should say. I'm happy about it. Yay. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you guys have found any good deals, especially in person, because I did not leave the house today. I did Black Friday once in my whole life. Me and my mom waited in line at a Target for like six hours in Dallas. It was freezing because <laughs> uh, we were visiting my uncle who lived there at the time. <laughs> and like, 
he, she wanted a GPS so you can you can date this. She was trying to get like a Tom Tom GPS. We did get the GPS. We also got a Little's Pet Shop tin. They used to do these like beautiful winter tins. And I think I was trying to buy a Pokemon game that day. I can't remember which one. But my mom was like, I'm going to go wait in line. You figure out how to get the game. But it's like in a locked thing. How was I supposed to get it? So, and I'm like, I can't talk to other adults. I'm terrified. So I was like, never mind. I think it was like Mystery Dungeon explorers of sky maybe but i i don't remember 100 percent. it was a pokemon game that i didn't already have no it wasn't sky it would have been darkness or time but i thought i got time on launch doesn't matter doesn't matter i could say anything you know but i'm pretty sure it was like ten dollars off or something that day i don't know if somebody can date exactly when this was it was the second littlest pet shop tin by the way they've done they did two of them and there's one that comes with the leopard cat it was that tin so that's the year it was <laughs> anyway that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for all this time. Let me know what you got. Okay, bye. <laughs>